Welcome to the first episode of the Levitt Sports Talk with Pearson and Sawyer. Uh, we're just going to be discussing what goes on in Levitt Sports throughout the school. And our first topic today is football, where our team racked up 587 total yards of offense, and we held Wells to 36 yards. What do you think about that? Pretty good. We worked good as a team. Um, our offensive line went good or played good. Um, our backs ran well. Uh, we had a couple penalties in the first half, but we got past that, and yeah, the game was overall good. So Hunter Hayes threw for 199 yards on 11 of 16 passing, and he threw a 36-yarder on 4th and 21 to Ben, a 26-yard touchdown to Dayton, and I had the other 146, and that brought us maybe a little above 199. Some of the stats are a little funky, but just overall I think the backs you were right ran really really well the defensive line got good pushes up front and kind of prevented them from going anywhere um, Noah came in and scored and T-Boss with a couple of touchdowns uh, just kind of dominating up front on those runs inside uh, Wells's wing T really didn't affect how we scheme up defense and I think uh, we really just had a Really good opening performance after getting delayed by a bunch of weeks. And our team also, for the last last thing of the topic of football, 355 rush yards on 36 carries. So just under 10 yards per carry uh, for the overall team. So that's always real, real good. And ooh, we got Gardner next week for homecoming, yeah. looking for a win. And at the end of that game, we beat Wells 41-0. to 41-0 to zero and ended their losing streak of uh, losing back-to-back -back games. Since for... 2009. So they hadn't lost back-to-back -back games since 2009. And uh, we broke their 33-game streak last or two years ago. And this year, broke their back-to-back -back streak from 2009. So that was pretty impressive. Next up, we got golf. So, Ruby Haylock shot a 32, uh, leading the Hornets. And everybody won their match matchups. So, Billy Visconti shot a 40. Jade Haylock shot a 38. Alex McCormick shot a 39. Aiden Lynn shot a 40. And A.J. Davis shot a 43 for a team score of 149. Just absolutely blowing out the other team. And... Hornets undefeated in golf. They have their last match next week, and that would give them another perfect season. So, I mean, there. For field hockey, um, they're the real deal. We talked to some of their players, and they've been going against some Class A schools, and that's been really difficult for them. They have been working together for a very long time. Um, the girls have high expectations for themselves and hold each other accountable, but sometimes that can be their downfall where they've been working together for so long, where they get mad at each other. And you can kind of see that. I mean, tempers do start to flare when you know you're good and you're just not playing at the level you want to. So sometimes in those games, um, it happens in football too. You can just, get in the spark of the moment, get frustrated at yourself and your teammates. They did, however, win their last game nine to zero and the one game they lost, they lost in double overtime to Lewiston on a rebound goal. So it's not like this has been a mess of a season. It's been really, really good and almost all positives for them. Um, they're good at pushing the ball up the field using outlets is one of the things we notice. Uh, some really good athletes on that team can get the ball downfield in a hurry. And playing on that grass, I know that can't be easy to, can't be easy to move that ball down the field. So next up, we have girls soccer. And the two captains of that team are Carly Levitt and Merritt, the new exchange student. foreign exchange student. Um, Merritt said the strength of the team is really communication. And it feels like everybody who's playing on that team has played with each other for five or six years, when in reality, it's only been a couple of short ones for them. And that's been able to uh, get them a f they got one win they're one and three they lost a couple close ones but um 
have really had a positive outlook on the games that they have lost because they've been so close. Um, Carly, really good goalie for them. Uh, they lost one nothing in their last game, and everybody is still high high hopes in the locker room. Uh, they really think they can go forward in this season and get a couple of wins down the road.